This is my S21 Ultra. You can see that I'm on One UI 4.0, Android 12. Now, I can't do this, but because of all the issues that I've been having so far, this is something that I kind of feel like I need to explain so other people have the opportunity to do this, because right now I don't, and it kind of sucks. So the baseband version is 5BULH. Now that 5 is really important because if that number goes up, you cannot downgrade. So as of right now, this phone will only boot from any firmware version that starts with 5 or newer. I can't downgrade to anything that uses 4 as the baseband. So now if I go to check firm here, which is just a firmware checking app, you can see that for the Canadian variant, the baseband is 4BUKK. So that can still be downgraded, but because I'm running U1XAA, not WXAC, mine is 5BULH, which I've just shown earlier. Now, what kind of got me thinking into this was that if we check the test builds, these are ones that other people have found. Right here for U1XAA, it's 5CVAA, so that's a significantly newer build because the number, indicates the baseband version, the letter indicates the version of one UI, the V indicates the year, A indicates the month, and then the second A is the uh, like build revision. So five is the baseband and you cannot downgrade once they've been upgraded. So if I remained on WXAC, I could actually downgrade back to One UI 3.1. But because I'm currently on U1XAA, I cannot go any lower because I'm already on five. So I can only go to firmware versions that start with five or newer. And considering that this build right here is the first one that uses that new baseband, there's nothing older that I can downgrade to. Now the C is a newer build of One UI, so that's probably just a major update. So that could be uh, One UI 4.1 or even still 4.0, but just with significant changes that it ended up needing to be a completely different version of One UI. The V, like I said, is the year. So U was 2021. V, the next letter in the alphabet, is 2022. A is the month. So L being the 12th letter of the alphabet is December and A being the first letter is January. And then the last one is just the build revision. So the last one there, and in this instance, A, or even up here, D, that's gonna be anything from one to nine or to start at 10 would be A all the way to Z. And then in the instance of the C, that'll be reserved as a Z for betas. And that's just how you distinguish the firmwares for these phones. Now, the issue is I wanted to start this like whole video showing how to downgrade everything when I was still on 4BULD, but my phone automatically updated to the latest one, so now I can't downgrade, which sucks because I can't open tons of games. Like they just don't work at all. I've even tried doing factory resets, wiping everything, downloading the games fresh instead of restoring them from a backup and nothing works. I can't get it to work. Even the DJI app for flying my drone it just does this and it doesn't matter if I have auto rotate on or off, it'll always do this and then it just crashes. So I'm having tons of issues and even in YouTube studio under the notifications, if I were to have any, if I swipe a notification to say that I've already responded to it, the app will just crash and then I have to open it again and then respond to the next comment and then it'll crash and so on. So for every single comment that I respond to, I have to reopen this app every single time. And even on YouTube, if I open a video, you can see that it's already loading and everything. You can see that the quality is just really, really blurry. And if we go over into the settings, you can see that quality is automatically set to be high quality, but it's always locked at 480p no matter what. Sometimes it'll say 720p, but the quality still doesn't get better. I have to select it and I just have to select it again. Now if we play the video and we pause it, the video is like crystal clear. Like it's gonna be a little bit harder to see, but you can even see the strands of his hair in this video. And then if we go back, you can see that it's now on 1440p and all I did was I reselected the exact same thing that it was already on. And it'll do this for every single video that I watch. So 
I have to manually select the higher quality setting every single time because it is always 480p. So there's lots of issues with One UI 4.0. And the biggest one for me is the DJI app not working because I can't fly my drone without that app. So I'm really hoping that this new build that's gonna be coming out is gonna have a lot of these app issues fixed because according to DJI, I've already been in contact with them, they've said that they've fixed all of the launching issues with Android 12, so it must be a Samsung thing. But that being said, the DJI Go 4 app worked perfectly on the betas. So I don't know, but they also have not released a new update for this since I've reported the bugs, which was about two months ago. For me, this instance, I'm basically screwed. There's nothing I can do. I will at least show you the process that you can go through so that way you can remain on One UI 3.1 until more of these One UI 4.0 issues have been resolved. So we're gonna be needing a computer for this because we're gonna have to use ADB, Odin, and we're gonna need USB debugging on. So we can go to settings, we can go to developer options. If you don't already have that enabled, you go to about phone and then software information. Then you just tap on the build number seven times and it'll come up, but it's saying that I already have developer mode on. You go back twice down to developer options. Now in here, you just wanna turn on USB debugging. Now that USB debugging is on, there are gonna be two applications that we have to remove to stop the updates from happening. Now, I also just wanna kinda of point out that this is what you're doing if you're still on One UI 3.1, you haven't updated, but you have that stupid notification at the top telling you to update. The next thing you wanna do is uncheck auto system update. You wanna turn that off, so that way it's not going to automatically update the phone when you restart the phone which for me is what happened. Because if we go to software update, you can see that I have auto download over Wi-Fi turned off. So great, it wasn't gonna be downloading the update. However, it did. And that was when I noticed it. So I turned that off so that way it wouldn't update so I could remain on the older baseband so that way I could still downgrade to One UI 3.1 and then still have all of my apps working. But because I didn't have that checked in developer options, when I restarted my phone, it actually installed the update that it had previously downloaded. So that sucks because now I'm stuck on this new one. The apps don't work and there's nothing I can do about it. So right now at this point, if you're on One UI 3.1 and you don't wanna upgrade, you're almost completely done. All we have to do is go over to the computer and open ADB. So we can plug in a USB cable, and now I've already authorized the device, so I'm not going to get that prompt coming up at the bottom, but it'll ask if you want to authenticate your computer to be using ADB for this device, and you just click allow. So now I have this folder here, which has ADB in it. You can actually install this system-wide, so that way you can just open any command prompt or PowerShell, and you can access ADB or Fastboot right from there. I've covered that before, and one thing that I've had many people ask is that, how do you do it without messing with Windows settings? So I'm just gonna copy this location right here. I'm going to open the start menu. So I just hit the Windows key. I'm gonna type in CMD for command prompt. I'm gonna open that. Now all I wanna do is just change the directory to this platform tools folder. So I'm gonna do CD for change directory, space, and I'm going to paste, control V, the directory that I have all of this in. But because there's a space in the name, you can see right here that there's spaces. I have to put it in quotations. So we will just go all the way back here and put some quotations. So now the entire thing is encapsulated in quotations and we can hit enter. And now we've changed the directory to that folder. Now we can just check and we can do ADB version. And you can see that ADB version is coming up. So everything is working. Now we can do ADB devices, which you can see that the phone just came up. Now that we have the device connected, we can do ADB shell. Now it's gonna change our input to a dollar sign. Now that indicates that we are in the terminal for the phone, which you can see P3Q is the actual model number of an S21 Ultra. So that's saying that we are on the S21 Ultra and the dollar sign indicates that we are in the terminal for the phone. Now all we have to do is uninstall two packages that are going to allow the updates to happen. So that's going to be PM, uninstall dash dash user space zero. And that's gonna be the command for basically everything. And you can even de-bloat your phone using this as long as you know all the package names, uh, which I've covered in a different video on how to find the package names. So for this first package, it's going to be com.wssync.mldm. Then we just hit enter and you can see that success, it has been removed. Now the next one, I'm just gonna push up so that way I have less typing. 
delete that, and it's gonna be com.sec.android.soagent. Hit enter, and you can see that that one has been successfully removed. So now if you followed along with the first few steps of disabling the updates to download over Wi-Fi, and you've disabled it to automatically update on boot, enabled USB debugging, so that way you could uninstall these two packages right here, then at this point, right now, if you are on One UI 3.1, you will not update to One UI 4.0. So that way you can stay on the older version and you don't have anything to worry about. Then you can just wait it out until One UI 4.0 gets a little bit better, more of the bugs are fixed, and then you can update to that. And then if you want to update to that, all you have to do is exit this, and now we can do adb shell cmd package install dash existing and now we just want to install one of those packages that we've just uninstalled so we can do com dot w s s y and c m l d m and there we go the package has been reinstalled for user zero so now we would just do that again and we will do com dot s e c dot android dot s o a g e n t Enter, and you can see that it has now been reinstalled. So now if I manually check for updates, the updates will work just as they normally did. So all this is doing is temporarily blocking the updates so that way you have control of when you actually upgrade. Now, for me, like I've already illustrated, I can't downgrade any further than what I'm on right now, so all of this is completely pointless for me. Now, if you are not on One UI 3.1, but your baseband version ends in a four still, so that way you can and downgrade, then this right here is the firmware to downgrade. So this is the latest firmware that came out, like the very last one that was released for Android 11 One UI 3.1, at least the W variant, because I had downloaded all of this in preparation to do this, but then my phone automatically updated like I explained, so now I'm basically screwed and I can't fly my drone or use any games or anything. Not salty about that at all. So we can open this, we can go to BL, and in this firmware directory right here, we can pick BL. Now I've said many times before that when you're loading AP, it is going to take a while. This computer is no slouch, and it still struggles with this file. So if you're using an older laptop or something, prepare to wait. This can take up to five minutes to load this file. And uh... Yeah, so I've said in other videos, don't touch anything because now it's not responding and we've completely crashed Odin because I touched something. So let's open Odin again and let's try it a second time. Now just take the hand off of the mouse and don't touch anything. Don't even breathe. Now we can move over to CP. And because this is a downgrade, we cannot retain any user data. Like you can, but you're gonna have significantly worse issues than when you started. So for CSC, use CSC, not home CSC. This will make sure that your phone doesn't get wiped, but because it's downgrading, you have to use this one. Always back up your phone. Data does not actually exist, so don't get so emotionally attached to it. Just make a backup, keep what's important, and use CSC to wipe the phone. Now that all of these files are loaded, we can put the phone into download mode. Now I don't put the phone into download mode first because of how long it takes AP to load, and download mode will time out. Now with the phone completely off, we just want to hold both volume buttons up and down, take the USB cable to the computer, and plug the USB cable in. And just keep holding until the phone vibrates and turns on. There we go, you can see that it's come up. Now we can hit volume up to continue. Now we're in download mode, so we can put the phone aside and back to the computer. You can see that COM3 is connected. If it's not, you'll have to install the Samsung USB driver, which is already installed because this isn't my first rodeo. But you can see that everything is all ready to go, so now all we have to do is just hit start. Now it's going to be flashing the older version, which will downgrade the phone, to One UI 3.1, but like I said, this phone has already been updated to the new baseband, which means that it's not going to work. I've shown at the beginning of the video that mine was five right here, and this is four, and you can see, failed. It will not flash, even with patched Odin. You cannot downgrade once that baseband has been upgraded. And it really sucks because I was trying to get this video done and still get drone footage, but 
now I can't. Like, I'm basically in phone purgatory here where I would either have to buy another phone that hasn't been upgraded yet or just wait it out until the S22 Ultra comes out and by that point, the bugs for the S21 will be fixed or likely be fixed. But at this point right here, if you were on the One UI 4.0 firmware that has a four right here, then this will just keep going. It'll work perfectly fine and it'll be completely normal. And then from this point, you would just repeat the steps that I showed earlier on how to block the updates completely. So once you're on One UI 3.1, then you go through all those previous steps to block the updates and then you don't have to worry about Android 12 updates or any issues from there. Now in the sense of showing Showing examples for YouTube, I now have to reflash my phone with One UI 4.0, which was already on, and in hindsight, I probably just should have told you that it would fail and not actually do this. Why do I do this? Okay, um, also another uh, like noteworthy mention here is that if you're using Linux, you can use Jodin, J-O-D-I-N-3. Uh, that's a new tool that someone made to use Odin, but on Linux. So now there's that possibility. You no longer have to only do this on Windows, so that's really cool. I can't remember the developer who made it, but if you just search for it, you'll find it somewhere there on GitHub. Uh, but uh, yeah, um, I don't know. I just basically screwed up my phone and now I have to redo everything because of this video. So if you liked the video, then you know, like the video, that's really cool. Uh, you could subscribe, that helps out. That's awesome. You can join the members program if you really loved it or you know, just don't do any of it. I'm not telling you what to do. So I already like ended this video and everything and I was <laughs> I was trying to find the firmware so I could flash the S21 Ultra and uh well that right there is 4 B U L E uh that's the latest one that I could find some other websites have 4 B U K K uh basically what this means is <laughs> that I have to be on baseband 4 to get the over-the-air update to be on baseband 5. Samsung did not release the firmware that is for baseband 5. So, I'm screwed. The phone's stuck in a boot loop right now. I can't use it. <laughs> and, the, like, and there's no firmware that's out there to download to flash onto the phone to fix the corrupted firmware. So, I... I just bricked my phone for this video. So basically I have to wait until Samsung actually releases an update that has the baseband 5 so I can flash it on my phone to fix the corrupted firmware that's now on it. So I mean, you know, hopefully something in here was worth a subscribe because I'm gonna off myself. Like, this sucks. Ugh, God.